The Sonic has a brand new menu item. It's called the Twisted Texan, and it comes in a quarter pound cheeseburger or a foot long chili dog. So I was sitting here thinking I was going to get the cheeseburger, but now I kind of really want to get the chili dog. And I don't know why. They both have crispy onion strings and, and chili on them, but God, I, I just, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna go chili dog. What the hell? Welcome back to Brick Eats. It's your host, Brian Brickman, and that's right, today I'm at Sonic getting a foot long toasted Texan. Whatever that is. Welcome to Sonic. My name is Joel Anthony. Yeah, can I get a Twisted Texan foot long chili dog? Okay. And a um, French fry and a Route 44 unsweet iced tea. Okay. And that's it. Anything else today? That'll be it. Cool. Did you need any ketchup or anything? Um, no, I'm good. Does the order look correct on the screen then? It does. Cool. Your total is going to be 757. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's a lot of questions. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, you too. Thanks, man. Check this out. It won't even fit in the bag. It sticks out. Oh. Get my french fries. Here it is. The Sonic. Twisted Texan. Oh, huh. Comes with a fork, too. Foot long. Quarter pounder hot dog. Holy smoke. Look at the size of this thing. I'm not going to lie. I haven't had a foot long hot dog or chili dog from Sonic since I was probably 23 years old. I mean, I used to get these a lot when I was younger and I worked construction. I don't eat these very much anymore, but man, those onion rings smell good, man. They smell real good. Look at this. They give you two buns. So it's a foot long hot dog, but they're two buns. I <laughs> can't even give you one long bun. That is, that's pretty funny. Oh, touche, Sonic. So what if I just cut it in half, I guess? Hmm? Oh, what the fun is that? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know, for a fast food place, Sonic Chili's all right. And I'm not going to lie. That bun... That hot dog's not bad. No onion rings on top. Well, not terrible. I don't know, it's a pretty good hot dog. Nice soft bun. You can't beat it with a soft bun. The chili is fine. I mean, it's pretty decent chili. I mean, I thought, this is a gut bomb. I can tell you that right now. But I thought it wasn't going to be as good. All right. I don't have a hot dog rating scale, but if I did, if I put this on the good, better, best scale, I'd go with it's uh, somewhere between good and better. For me, hot dogs have always been not so much as hot dogs, but as where you at, right? Like when you get a hot dog at the ballpark, I mean, that's a truly great hot dog because you're at the ballpark and it's a hot dog. They give you the cheapest hot dog on the planet, and you know it's good. Um, you go to a family picnic, man. If you like your family and you're at a picnic, that's a pretty good hot dog right there. I remember when I was a kid, they had uh, hot dogs and a Pepsi all over Waterloo, Iowa for 25 cents. Hot dog and a Pepsi for 25 cents. And my dad and I used to go, man, we went all the time. Anytime somebody was doing hot dogs and a Pepsi for 25 cents. And you know what? Those were great hot dogs because they're great memories. So... Sitting alone in your car eating a damn chili dog for Sonic doesn't make for great memories, but it's not that bad. That's all I got to say about that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. And you know the drill. Subscribe in the corner. Hit that like button if you like this video. And until next time, keep eating chili dogs with your family or your friends at a ballpark or somewhere not alone in your car at Sonic. And we'll see you.